Hey guys, it's Miss Cheryl Lynn with the Wayne County Public Library. I'm the children's librarian and for our first segment of our Christmas in July theme, we have Santa's Little Helper. We're going to do snowmen this week, but since snowmen are kind of white like snow, we have a little bunny rabbit that's as white as Santa's beard. So we're going to read about Santa's Little Helper because I thought it was such a cute story. So this story is written by Angela McAllister. So she wrote the words. And it is illustrated by Daniel Hallarth. So he drew the picture. So he drew Santa and every other picture in this book. So Santa's a little helper. It was the day before Christmas and Snowball was excited. He hopped and skipped to play with his brothers and sisters. He hurried past his friends building a snowman. He giggled at Mr. Polar Bear's stories. Soon he met his brothers and sisters. We're gonna play hide and seek, they yelled. Do you wanna play? Oh, yes, said Snowball, and he set off to find a good place to hide. The first place wasn't big enough, so he went even farther. Can I hide behind you? Snowball asked Mr. Walrus. Sorry, Snowball, he replied. I was just going swimming. The next place Snowball found was too cozy, so he kept looking. Snowball was so excited, he found a perfect place to hide, and he stayed very still. He waited and waited and waited and waited, but nobody could find him. Snowball was so quiet that after a while, he fell asleep. Snowball didn't hear the footsteps crunching through the snow. Ho, 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 a voice chuckled. I nearly left this behind. Santa picked up the sleeping bunny and placed him in the sack of presents. Snowball woke to the sound of jingle bells and a deep voice humming a merry tune. <laughs> Snowball peeped out and the starry sky spun around him. The wind whistled through his whiskers. I must be dreaming, he gasped. Then the sleigh landed with a bump and Snowball tumbled out into the snow. Hello there, little one, chuckled Santa Claus. He picked Snowball up. What a surprise! I thought you were one of the toys. Would you like to be my helper, he asked. Snowball nodded happily. There were stockings to fill. There was much to be done. There were lots of presents to carry. At last, all the sacks were empty. Merry Christmas, Snowball, said Santa Claus. I never could have done all this without you. And then he gave Snowball a special Christmas present. Now, we better get you home, he smiled. You see what Snowball's present was? Santa tucked Snowball under a warm, cozy blanket and he fell asleep and the reindeer galloped throughout the night sky. Snowball didn't even wake up when Santa Claus carried him back to his burrow. The next morning, his brothers and sisters found him at last. Where did you hide, they asked. We looked everywhere. I was so still and so quiet, I fell asleep, said Snowball with a yawn. But I had a wonderful dream. You think it was a dream? Well, you won't have to be still and quiet today, said his brothers and sisters. Come on, it's Christmas. Hooray, cried Snowball as he ran happily after them through the snow. And the jingle of a teeny bell told him that his Christmas dream really was true. You see the little bell that Santa gave him? The end. I hope y'all like that story. I thought that was such a cute little story. So for our next 
little thing. We're going to do the song, the 12 Days of Christmas, except instead of the song, we have the song book, so you get to see the pictures. So the 12 Days of Christmas is illustrated by John O'Brien. So he drew all these pictures that you're going to see in this book. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Now we have six. Can you show me six? We've got on the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Six geese Elaine, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Can you show me seven? We have seven. Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Can you show me eight? We have seven, have one more, eight. Eight maids of milking, seven swans of swimming, six geese of laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Can you show me nine? So we had eight, nine, nine. Nine ladies waiting, eight mills of milking, seven songs of swimming, six geese of laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. So we had nine, add one more, we have ten. Ten lords are leaping. Nine ladies waiting, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. So we had ten. Show me ten. Add one more. Good job. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> Eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. So we have ten. We're going to add two more. Thanks, Heather. Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And they're not home, so don't go bother them. I hope y'all like that story. I always love that story and song. They're both. Okay, so for our next cute little story, 
we have a book that we have out on the shelf, and it has a CD with it, so it's a CD book. But it's, there was an old lady who swallowed a bell. I gotta find out what, she, what else she swallows in this book. There was an old lady who swallowed a bell, and it is written by, so the words are by, Lucille Colorondo, and it's illustrated by Jared Lee. So Jared Lee did the pictures. There was an old lady who swallowed a bell. How it jiggled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some bows. Soft as the snow were those velvety bows. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some gifts. It gave her a lip to swallow all the gifts. She swallowed the gifts to go with the bow. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a sack. It was easy to pack a very big sack. She swallowed the sack to hold all of the gifts. She swallowed the gifts to go with all the bows. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed the bell. I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a sleigh. What a ton it weighed, that shiny red sleigh. That's a huge thing. She swallowed the sleigh to carry the sack. She swallowed the sack to hold all the gifts. She swallowed the gifts to go with the bows, and she swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. I wish she'd tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some reindeer. They were in full flight gear, those soaring reindeer. She swallowed the reindeer to steer the sleigh. She swallowed the sleigh to carry the sack, and she swallowed the sack to hold all the gifts. She swallowed the gifts to go with the bows. She swallowed the bows to tie up the bell that jingled and jangled and tickled as well. I don't know why she swallowed a bell. I wish she'd tell. Then, the old lady needed a treat. She thought a candy cane would be very sweet. But when she heard a jolly ho, 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 she knew it was time for her to go. So she whistled loudly and soon by her side was Santa Claus waiting for a ride. Happy holidays to all. I like that book. I hope you all like that too. It was cute. Okay, so for our next little thing that we have, we're new Frosty the Snowman. Most of you all know this. It's a song, but this one's also a picture book, so we're going to find out, sing it, kind of. But it is written by Steve Nelson and Jack Rowland, so they wrote the words, and then the pictures are illustrated by Richard Caldry. So he drew the pictures. He did a really good job on Frosty. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pop and a butt and nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale they say. He was made of snow but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found for when they placed it upon his head. He began to dance around. Oh, 
Oh, Frosty, the snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Frosty, the snowman, knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run. We'll have some fun now before I melt away. Down to the old village with a broomstick in his hand, running here and there all around the square saying, catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of town right to the traffic cop and he only paused one moment when he heard him holler. For Frosty, the snowman had to hurry on his way, but he waved goodbye saying, don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, over the hills of snow. I hope y'all liked that story. That one was one of my favorites and songs, so now you know Frosty the Snowman. Our next book we have is Snowman at Christmas. This one's such a cute story. Again, this one has a CD with it that you can check out here at the library. But we're not going to use the CD, we're just going to read the book. So, Snowman at Christmas. We have a smiling snowman. He looks like he might be up to something. It's written by Carolyn. Buner, and the pictures are done by Mark Buner. On one Christmas Eve, I made a snowman, very fat and jolly. I dressed him up in green and red and trimmed his hat with holly. I saw his arms were trembling as if he couldn't wait. It made me start to wonder, how do snowmen celebrate? I think that while I'm snug in bed, dreaming of Christmas treats, the merry snowmen slip away and hurry through the streets. Do you think the same thing? They might slip away. They glide down snowy avenues with lamp lights all aglow. The sleeping city is blanketed in freshly fallen snow. They pass by toy shop windows framed with twinkling lights, pausing for a peek or two at all the holiday delights. The jolly snowmen gather from everywhere around for a Christmas party in the center of the town. Waving to each other, they call out cheery greetings, all their friends and family so happy to be meeting. A few merry snowmen start trimming the square. Soon holly and icicles are strung everywhere. And then, reaching high for everyone to see, they hang balls of snow on the big Christmas tree. The snow children play freeze tag or red rover or climb in a stack until they all wobble right over. The mothers lay out all kinds of cold treats, ice cream and snow cones and dainty iced sweets. Then the dancing begins to the tune of a fiddle. All the snowmen line up and sashay down the middle. Someone says, hush! Could that be a jingle? Then over the hill glides the snowman, Chris Kringle. He opens his sack with a jolly ho, 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 and pulls out their presents, each made of snow. Santa sips his cocoa, the reindeer romp and play, and then with a whistle, they're off on their way. Such fun snowmen hat, but there's still one more thing. With hearts full of joy, they hold hands and they sing. While the fiddler plays, the sweet silver bells ring. They sing songs about snow. The children are sleepy, the grown-ups all yawning. 
The snowmen go home just as Christmas is dawning. They're all back in their places when Christmas Day starts, but these folks made of snow have a glow in their hearts. Their smiles are more tender, their eyes softly shine, as the snowmen dream dreams of their Christmas time. Merry Christmas! The end. I hope y'all like that one. That one was super cute too. So for our last story, we have the snowman pop-up book. So it may be similar to the other one, but I like these pictures, so we'll just look at the pictures. So this is written by Carolyn Buner and Mark Buner. Again. The pictures are Mar by Mark Buner. One ordinary day, I made a snowman, very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms had drooped down, he looked like a fright, and it made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? So he thinks that they start to slide down when it gets really dark, off the lawn, down the street, and right into the park. And then they begin to play games, they line up in their places, each one anxious for their turn to win the snowman races. knows how it starts, but they start throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. And then comes time for the sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Wahoo, they yell. This is by far the biggest snowman thrill. So, if your snowman's green is crooked or he's lost a little height, you'll know just what he's been doing and what snowmen do at night. I hope y'all like that story and the pictures. I love the pictures. Okay, so for this week's craft, we have this bag. This is beginning for the whole week. So we have an Olaf summer themed. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut these out and you're gonna go to make the Olaf that's right there on the side. And then we have some Christmas ice spies you can do at home, a coloring sheet. This one's my favorite, Christmas in July with Santa. He is so funny. And then here's a Santa sheet that you can do at home. You make your own Santa. An I Believe sticker for the Polar Express. And your very own snowball. So you get to take the snowball at home and decorate it, do whatever you want to it. That is your snowball to keep. And I hope to see you all next week for our reindeer.